Here I have a problem from the University of Houston 2009 math contest, and it asks us to find a positive value k such that x squared plus 2kx equals negative 3k minus 3 has exactly one real solution. So let's jump into this. First, what we want to do is move this term on the right-hand side over to the left-hand side, leaving us with just zero on this right-hand side. So we'll have x squared plus 2kx. That's just from this left-hand side unchanged. Then we want to add 3k and 3 from this right-hand side, but that gives us zero on the right. But now we can apply the quadratic formula. So we'll have x is equal to negative 2k plus minus the square root of 2k all squared minus 4 times 1, that's the coefficient of our x squared term, times 3k plus 3. And that's all over 2 times 1, but we'll just leave that as 2. Again, because 1 is our coefficient of the x squared term. But now for this But now for this to result in only one solution, we want this bit right here to all go off to zero. There's a name for that, I just can't think of it off the top of my head. Let me know what this part of our quadratic formula is called in the comments down below. But using that, we want to set that equal to zero and then solve it for k. So we'll have 2k all squared minus 4 times 3k plus 3 is all equal to zero. Like I said, because when this term goes to zero, we'll only have one solution, that being negative k. But now we can expand this out. So we'll have 4k squared minus 12k minus 12 is equal to zero. But now because all of these terms have a 4 in them, we can factor that out and divide. So we'll have k squared minus 3k minus 3 is equal to 0. Like I said, that's just by factoring out a 4 and then dividing. But now we can use the quadratic formula on this. So we'll have k is equal to 3 plus minus the square root of 9, that being negative 3 squared, minus 4 times 1 times negative 3, so that'll be plus 12, and that's all over 2, again, because that's 2 times 1, but now that's going to be equal to 3 plus minus the square root of 21 over 2, and because we're only looking at positive k's here, we can get rid of this minus sign here, and we'll only look at 3 plus the square root of 21 over 2 because 3 minus the square root of 21 over 2 would be negative. So this is our final solution for k that gives us only one solution. And that's enough for now.